Giles versus Driscoll Duplessis. Duplessis. I think I might be right on the main rounds. I even did it like, you know. Oh, yeah. For you know what? Phonetically, we're getting better. Yeah. A I, lot better. I, I really think we are. So, I got, I don't know that I can offer anyone a sure bet on this. I might want to actually get your take on this, but I do okay. think that there's some interesting things to discuss here. First off, I'm going to start with Trevin Dobbs. Okay. Trevin um, reminds me this a lot of Kennedy Majuku. Okay. Which, by the way, was the only bet I got wrong last week. Of any of the bets. I actually hit a five bet parlay. We put that on there. It'll probably be in the show notes below. Please like this. I even went back. You know what? Gottelgun was six for seven. I, we were saying five for six. We were actually six for seven. Huh. Shameless. Ooh. Shameless plug. Ooh. Ooh, what a week. So, <laughs> circling back to the pick stuff. So here's the thing with uh, with Trevor Giles. Nothing about, you know, I love that he's a cop. He is on a three fight win streak. So I do think all these things are very interesting. He's one of our boys in blue. Yeah, he's, he, you know, shout out to all the police out there. Uh, my issue with him is I'm just not sold on his fight. I think, I think his athleticism, sheer athleticism, has bought him a lot of wins and got him to where he is. I do wonder if he might be a little bit out over his head as far as talent and understanding the game goes. I can kind of see what you're saying. You know, I was watching his last fight, and he was kind of out there, and it looked like he was just waiting to put the hurt on this guy. I mean, he the, the positions that he was putting himself in, I think he just knew he was outmatching him. I think he was only a uh, minus one ten favorite on his last match, but mm-hmm. you know, I think as soon as he got out there, he knew he had the power. He knew he he was gonna get this guy sooner or later, and it, you know, it ended up becoming and he did finish him. Um, but I can see what you're saying. Like he, he did put himself in some positions that if you put that, you know, yourself in that position with somebody who knows what they're doing a little bit more than this last opponent that he had, you're gonna be in trouble. You think this Dubossi is? Well, there's a couple things. There's a couple angles of attack here. So, Chuck Giles has gotten in trouble with the Park Guillotine show before. Okay, he's been uh, he, And Duplessis has a very, very good squeeze on that. Okay. And he likes to do it. He likes to go to it. I can see Trevor Giles overexerting himself, going too forward. He likes to throw, uh, you know, a lot of combos, which I think is good for output when it comes to maybe if he outpoints them and it has to go to the judges. I don't really see it going to the judges. I actually think if I was going to sprinkle anything in, I would go to Duplessis by submission. I don't know. I don't have the line on that for you, but, you know, just thinking out loud as I'm doing this time of taping, I do think it's, it might be a good little, it's a good plus money. It might be a little sneak of scratch. There. We'll put it up on the general trail. Yeah, we'll get it out there for you. Um, you know, either way, I think, um, you know, Duplessis had a, a very nice knockout. He got the guy at the back of his ear. Um, you know, some would say it's dumb luck, but, you know, when you kind of backlog it, he's had a few knockouts in his career before the UFC doing just that. So when you look at the tape on this, the only thing that does scare me again, he could get outpointed if it's just an all-out war and goes to the end and he doesn't, you know, you know, hit him in a guillotine or any type of jokes. But you know, at the same time, I think that you know Giles might just put himself in a position where um, you know I think that he's going to get attacked on the legs. I think Duplessis puts a pretty good calf kick out there, which might take some of the movement that Giles has out of his game. And from there, I think it's just going to be his game for the taking. Um, I haven't, I'm not going to put an official pick on it just yet, uh, but I do think that one's interesting to watch. You get closer to fight day, I might put a TikTok out there or a big channel as we come along. But I don't know, do you have a, you have a horse in that race or no? Man, I think that's a pass for me too. It looks like we're drafting a guy both at minus 112 right now. So, so you're basically getting him as a pick. Yeah. You know, so if you feel strong, maybe if I sold you enough one way or the other, feel free to go with it. Uh, I think I might like to see if the line moves one way or the other before I pick. Because again, like I said, Giles is very quick. He's always throwing combos, albeit they're probably, they could be a little bit sloppy at times, but there's still a lot of output you're going to get from him. And, you know, I will say this to Plessis, he didn't, you know, I might have been, it was his day a little bit of ring rust, maybe, or, you know, a little octagon, like, you know, scared, getting the jitters out. Yeah, he didn't start different. as fast as I wanted to, um, but, you know, he did finish it, and that's what really ultimately matters. It gives a shit how you start, it's almost how you finish, especially in 